We serve about 225 students and about 75% of our families receive some form of tuition assistance. These are students, some of these students have very difficult upbringings. If they went to a typical school, they would be almost pigeonholed. Catholic schools have such a great challenge out there. There are too many students who simply are not getting the kind of chance that Mission Dolores Academy can provide. You have 25 different learners individuals in your classroom. How do you speak to all of them and to their needs? The school wanted to use blended learning to see if they could improve their academic results while also improving the economic viability of the school, a private school, committed to serving families in San Francisco that are not yet monetarily successful. Blended learning is when students in the school are spending about half of their instructional time on the computer. So they'll be learning subjects like mathematics or language or arts in large part from software programs on the computer. This is how I log in. You click your teacher, you, you click yourself, then you click your password. Mission Dolores became our pilot partner for FEDRAS, our blended learning initiative. Digital learning is a tool. It's a tool that good teachers in a good school can use to get even better academic results. It allowed me, as a math teacher, to basically come up with more challenging type work or more work that got them to critically think. I can log in as a teacher and see what each student did and how many times they've done this, where they're stuck. I can then say, okay, well, these are all the kids that had a hard time we can do a small group with them using a different approach. These big, beautiful classrooms with about 26, 27 kids in each classroom and half are on the computer while the other half are with a teacher and or teaching assistant. And after about half an hour, they switch. And again, after about half an hour, they switch. And this goes on throughout the day. What you can see in my classroom with blended learning that you cannot see with a typical classroom is complete differentiated instruction. We have actually four different classes going on at once. So that allowed me to help with organization, help with critical thinking, help with challenge, help with basically differentiating things across the board. The work they do on the computers is aimed at exactly what they need. If they're behind or are struggling with something, it helps them catch up. And if they're ready to move on, it helps them accelerate and, and go way beyond. It's a learning experience both for the students and for the teachers. But it's like anything. It starts slow and then it builds and it goes faster and faster, it becomes easier and easier. This thing takes momentum. My name is Manuel Mora, I'm in the eighth grade, and my homeroom teacher is Miss Escobar. Oh yeah, in the past years I used to just finish my work and be like, okay, let's watch TV or something. But with computers and with more teachers being in each room, they would ask me different questions about the subject so I could elaborate on each step and they would tell me even more so I could understand and get that 100% on the test, get that A. I've taught Manny for one year, his eighth grade year. He's been challenged, I don't think he's bored. So in my group, when I'm teaching him, he has tougher questions, a little bit more in depth, critical thinking. In the past years without the computers, we would have to go at the teacher's pace and if we asked the question, they would try to help us and if they couldn't, they would just move on since most of the other people got it. But with the computers, we have our own username, password, login, and it goes from each folder to the next. You don't have a time limit, like you have to finish this in a week or anything. It's at your own pace, which is really cool. Manny has made great strides this year. I think he's made great strides both personally as well as educationally. Manny recently was accepted to one of the best schools in the city, Sacred Heart. Now, I think getting in is the first step, but the thing we take great pride in is the fact that we have set him up for success next year. Small group instruction has allowed him to be confident in what he's doing. He, that confidence will show in his classwork, it has shown in his classwork, and I think that'll continue to help him be successful in high school. In math, Manny has made a nearly 20 point gain this year. In reading, he's now scoring 30 points higher than where he started in the fall. That's several years worth of progress. It's really, really exciting. So now that he has the ability to be engaged into something that, you know, that needs 
that's a little more time consuming and he needs to slow down with and it's, it's a lot more challenging than the rest of the um, curriculum that he used to be on is, is something that keeps him more engaged. It's pretty cool because if you get 100%, 75%, you get great and you get awards like this one. It's a 20 bonus point award for having a bunch of 100% back to back. It's pretty cool. My name is Andy. I'm in first grade and I am in Mrs. Mrs. Reed's class. Starting in the year, Andy couldn't read very fluently. Andy has grown in a way that um, is very special to us because I would say that Andy has grown holistically. The kind of progress we've seen a student like Andy make this year is really exciting. She's gone from the fourth percentile in reading in September to the 42nd percentile now. That's amazing progress. A 40 point gain, especially in just nine months. He wants to go to the castle so I have to pick the EN. So the more ENs you get, the more, the more walking he gets to the castle. This last quarter I was able to assess her and she was reading 65 words per minute, which for a first grader is pretty dynamic. I knew that she had it in her at the beginning of kindergarten. It just didn't come about. And now in first grade, um, her reading skills have really improved a lot. The students value the opportunity to have the small group instruction with her teachers with lots of interaction and participation. They're all engaged in all the curriculum, computers, small group, striving to be the best that they can be. I would definitely recommend any type of school that has this type of program with it. This program, like I said, it caters to the individual need of the child, which is so important for our future, their future. The children really love this school. I, I hear many positive comments about Mission Dolores Academy. The switch to blended learning cost about half a million dollars for us here. And that's for computers, for furniture, for wiring. And there are some ongoing costs as well for software license fees and depreciation of the equipment. But the benefits, the big reduction in per pupil operating costs and the improved academics, those are likely to be ongoing as well. I think of Thomas Aquinas, uh, a brother in our order. Thomas took the latest and the best. He was not afraid to learn the new, but to incorporate it. His was a mind alive. I think Thomas would be very angry at us if we simply did the same old, same old. Be an adventurer. There are more kids in the classrooms, and the school's average gains in reading this year were much better than previous years. The average gains in math were out of the park. The student-teacher interaction, too, is stronger and deeper. This year was just a start. We've got lots to learn, lots more to examine, but it was very promising. And we look forward to more urban Catholic schools leading the way. <laughs>